Okay, well, welcome back to Coffee Cafe. So here we left off on the 23rd of June, um, which is Saturday. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sunday. Sunday. All right, so we still have a whole week left to go through the entire scenario, okay? So let's see what happened here. We paid furniture store for invoice number 75 for the uh, bistro tables and chairs. Okay, so we have to pay them, right? Account payable and check. Good, so account payable and check. Now in this case, how much do I know or how, how much, how do I know how much I owe? So we're going to the subsidiary ledger, right? Yes. Okay, so let's go to our subsidiary ledger. And this is furniture store. Okay, here we are, furniture store. So we have a whole set the tables and the chairs. Yep. So is the second one? Oh, right. oh the invoice 75. Yeah, right, and it says right here, 10 mm -hmm. tables and chairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how much do I owe? 6,605. We owe 6,605, and this time, no discount is offered. So let's go ahead and write the checkout for $6,605. $6,605.08, right? Eight cents? Mm -hmm. Eight cents. <clears throat> okay, and we're writing a check. So we go to the check. Check register. To the register. Okay, what check number are we going to use? Uh, 1522. 15, we don't have a, a mistake on the inventory. Mistake on the inventory. Mm -hmm. From where? I'm saying it's a regular one. I think we're counting. We didn't count something. So. Uh, let's finish this one up and we'll go back and backtrack, okay? <coughs> yep. So who are we writing this check out to? To furniture store. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So turn it to store, invoice 75, check it. <coughs> Sorry, it's in turn it Invoice number 75, check number 1523. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and. Ledger. Yeah, do it the ledger. And then the subsidiary ledger. So ledger. Okay, accounts payable. Account payable is six thousand six hundred six minus six twenty-three. Payment with check uh, 1523, general journal. Mm -hmm. Page 10 or 11, I think it is 11, no? We're on oh, 12. 12, yep. 
Okay, so six thousand. Okay, we have four thousand two hundred fifteen point eighty six. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we have to check. Go ahead, Chucky. Mm -hmm. I guess we are. So we have on the credit to the four thousand two hundred eleven and eighty five. Yes, so four thousand two hundred eleven and eighty five cents. So what I'm gonna do here is I typed it into my credit side, and I'm going to hide it using my um, white color font. So then I keep the formula on the right, on the left side, but I'm going to type in because you don't see a negative debit. A negative debit mm -hmm. is a credit, so Credits. there you go. All right, so it's still there, right, yep. but it's just hidden now. So we're going to the subsidiary ledger. And we have to pay. Mm -hmm. We have to pay with a check number. Check number 1523. Invoice 85. So therefore, I owe zero dollars to furniture mm -hmm. store. I paid everything off. However, I dipped into my credit side, right? And what allows my check to actually go through? The what? What does my what 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 allows my check to go through? Because if my check account right now is showing that I have negative four thousand, what allows me to go to have to process the check and the make it go through? The line of credit, right? Up to ten thousand dollars of credit. So in this case, they pushed it forward, they paid for us four thousand dollars and so on and so forth okay mm -hmm. all right so you were talking about the inventory right yeah i think we have an i don't know maybe we we'll fix it because i i yesterday mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay hold on let me use go to my assets and see if it's there okay For regular coffee? I think it's regular coffee, I'm not so sure. Okay. The amount is was mm, no, it's the other one, it's the Supreme. Supreme? Okay, mm -hmm. Supreme. We start with one hundred. That's FIFO, right? The Supreme. Yes, so, FIFO, correct. So we start with one twenty, one twenty-five, right? Maybe I write something two times. I'm not. I'm not sure. One. What do you mean? We. We. What do you mean? The amount that we have uh, left. That's all. 
We only have 123 left. 123 left? How? Because... Oh, the se we, we use the second one, the second uh, 125 that we... Here, I, I talk about the, the beginning of the, the first 125. The Do first 125? Uh-huh. Is gone. It's gone. I know that it's gone. But it was okay. Because yesterday I tried to do it a thousand times. It looked like, oh, I write something two times or something was wrong there. Right now we, okay, so we purchased three batches of 125 pounds. Yes. Mm -hmm. The first, so we have 125 minus 1.15, so 109, right? The first one. See? It's Okay, minus another batch from 15.5, so it's supposed to be 95, minus 10, 84, okay, minus 16.5, 67, I cannot, oh, when I get to that, it is, I have a, I, I have a mistake <laughs> there, I, I cannot see that on your, on your videos. Of the video when we when we did it, we have a. It's like we didn't count something there, or we count uh, we didn't count something there. Sixteen. Oh, don't try again. Stand okay. Place. Stand. Not my stand. Sixty-seven. I don't know what I did wrong. That's better, yeah. Okay. Don't worry. If I don't find it, I'll tell you again. <laughs> um, I mean you could do the math you could do the math, like forty, yeah. fifty, sixty, uh mm. forty, fifty, sixty plus thirty one is ninety one. You see, here we have a plus 40. We have a one. When you get to 40, you have. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. And see, I, I know that I got away. No, I did wrong. Would it? Okay. How do you put two lines, the two times the 15? I put again 15. I, I sell again 15.5. Oh, okay. So, okay. So there should be only two. You have three? Mm -hmm. I think I have a three. Yep. Okay. That's a mistake. All right, it's good. Okay. All right. No problem. <laughs> good. Okay. Because, like, we did, remember, our ledger should also match this, too. So, yes. in this mm -hmm. case, we have 22, uh, 22632. So, let's see. Two two six thirty two, yeah. Yep, is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, no problem. So you know, my mistake. All right. I'm gonna find it. Don't worry. All right. Thing is two, and I write two times a line. Well, okay, perfect. Okay, so we could go back to our scenario here. Okay, so there you go. We entered mm -hmm. in our uh, payment. Mm -hmm. So next we have is our grand opening sales. So again, we have a check-in, this sell discount, sells medium regular coffee, sells like regular coffee, spoon, oh my god. Okay, perfect. Just reach the mm -hmm. end of uh, page. So we have, we have a run or you going to change the Nope, page? nope, nope, nope. We have just exactly enough. <laughs> exactly enough. Okay. So starting off with checking. So we have uh, 1,931. All right. We have discounts from one, 
455 and 22 cents. Mm -hmm. For the medium coffee, 477 and 60 cents. Five forty four point eighteen and six twenty two fifty. Okay, and we have a five twenty six ninety nine and the ceramic mug is one hundred and four and eighty five. The tax that are one fifty and twenty two. So, yeah, open it 20 percent tax. Okay. 24, 26, 34, 24, 30, 24, 26, 34. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to the letter. Mm. Okay. So. A chicken, right? Mm -hmm. So we have one thousand nine hundred five two and one point eighty five and so twelve. So we still on credit to two thousand two hundred forty point seventy three. Two thousand two hundred forty seventy three. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to do sell discount. Sales discount. Mm-hmm. We have one thousand twenty-four point twenty-seven dollars. One, one thousand eight hundred seventy-nine fifty-six. One thousand seventy-nine fifty. Fifty. Yeah. Fifty. Fifty-six. I don't know. What was before? Ah, uh, thirty-seven. Ah, uh, fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Yep. Fifty-nine. One eight. Uh, yes. One thousand eight hundred seventy-nine and fifty-nine cents. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we're going to go to the medium coffee cups. All right, how many cups did we sell? We, it, it, 240. <clears throat> So we have a uh, one thousand seven hundred eighty seven and two cents. Good. How many cups uh, yeah. of the mm. large? Uh, one eighty two. So five hundred and forty four eighteen 
and you have two hundred two thousand three hundred and fifty and fourteen centimeters. Good. Next is the supreme medium coffee. Uh -huh. How many cups they sell? Two hundred and fifty. Sixty two five plus six seven point three three. So uh six no six two two five. Yep. And now you have uh, two thousand eight two thousand two hundred eighty three and thirty three cents. Yep. Good. Next we have 551 526.99 526.99 yeah, 2586.09 Yeah. Well, it's a 2,586 on... and nine cents. Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, then we got to go up to ceramic coffee ceramic mugs. Ceramic coffee mugs. 15 to sell. Yeah, 15 to sell. So you have six hundred and forty and ninety four cent. Good. Okay, last okay. but not least, taxes. Yes. Sales tax. So one hundred and fifty and twenty two cent, and you have six hundred and twenty and twenty six cent. Good. Yep. So. Um, Well, at least that's all, no? <clears throat> now we're going to the the next one, install years. Oh, uh, well, let's deposit the money. Oh, the money. Mm -hmm. so, but you don't wait until the end of the week? It is the end. Is the, no, it's the end of the day. Oh, okay. oh, the end of the day? Yeah. Okay. How do they do that? Well, we have a Sunday 23 here. We still have something. You don't need her time and yeah, but that's but it's okay. Let's just go ahead and deposit. It says right here, deposit all cash um, sales. Okay, no problem. So the twenty six, twenty third, mm -hmm. twenty three, yep. and we we add everything or just on the bottom. Is gonna add. In this case, we only had one thing that we had to transfer. Mm -hmm. So the bottom is have to do the, the formula, the total, right? N no, so no, because in this case, in this case, we only had one thing to deposit. Yeah. No, I said the total of the deposit that we have on the bottom. We don't have uh, to do a total from the deposit, right? Well, in this case, right, how we understand this is like you only do the totals if you have more than one receipt for the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, no problem. Okay. Um, one, two, 
people were down with that, no? Mm -hmm. with, uh, so now we have to do a volume of 30. Okay, so in this case we used 39 pounds of regular coffee and 36 pounds of Supreme coffee. Supreme coffee. Yep. So it's the cost of goods sold, regular coffee. Cost of goods sold, your Supreme coffee, regular coffee. So we feel we have um, 39 down 1.6 so 62 63 cents 63 dollars 60 oh yeah $63 even. One, 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 point five, minus sixty three, forty eight point five. Oops. Thirty nine. Oh, sorry, minus thirty nine. Yeah. So we have seventy two pounds and uh, five and a half. Seventy two. Yeah. Good. And, uh, one, eight, 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 eight. 117 and 11 cents. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, 161. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay. So then, so Supreme. So the Supreme, yep. It is the 23rd, and we sold how many? We sold 36. 36. Yep, 36. And we only have one batch of inventory, so. Time 184. So we have 66 six, six and 20%. Okay. So yep, 66 and 24 cents. 66 okay. and 24. Mm -hmm. So minus 36 from this batch of inventory here. Uh, 23 left, right? Uh-huh. Uh, 56, 76. Is it possible? What? No, 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 no. One, 23. One, 223 minus uh, 36. 86. 87. Found. 87. Seven. Yep. I don't know if they press here. Which should leave us one sixty oh eight. Oh eight, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and plug these numbers in. So sixty six twenty four for supreme, and sixty three for regular. Right. Do you have the mm -hmm. Did you go in the launcher? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we used 39 pounds. Which was sixty-three dollars. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, four hundred eighty-seven sixty-four. Good. And then supreme. We use thirty-six pound. Sixty-six twenty-four. Five hundred twenty-three and forty-two cents. Yep. 
523, 50, uh, 42. 42, yeah. Okay. And then, now we gotta go update our inventory. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I got regular coffee here. Good, which we solved in our inventory mm -hmm. worksheet. Good. One sixty and eight cent. One sixty and eight cents, which that for sure is what we have in our inventory worksheet, okay. right? Six. What is it? One, Supreme. No, this is the other one. Yep. yep. One sixty oh eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's all now, huh? Yep, that's it. So now we have the payroll side on all of these. So, so in this case, are we actually doing payroll? When is pay when is the payroll? On the end of the month, no? Because they submit their worksheets, no? This is just submitting their worksheets, yeah. So because they're on a bi weekly, right? Actually bi weekly, yeah. Every well, we have the 23rd, but yes. Yeah, the 20, yeah, the 23rd is just the end of the uh, the payroll period. Mm -hmm. This is the end of their two weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when do I actually pay them? Another two weeks? Mm. Not exactly. No, it's, it's, it's going to be Friday. Right. Mm -hmm. Usually, usually your paychecks. If you do a biweekly, you get paid every Friday, right? So here on Sunday, they need to submit their timesheet so they know. So then the accountant can go, or the payroll person can go ahead and calculate the payroll and process it. So then they the checks are readily readily available on Friday. The thirtieth, they're not supposed to to have the payroll. It's it's biweekly. Biweekly, bi I know. Not the end of the month. No, every two weeks, fifteen days, fifteen days, thirty days. Well, in this case, let's take a look at the calendar. When she start to work, I don't remember. Okay, so when do I actually pay my employees? Every two weeks. Every two weeks. Okay. So my first one was on the 14th. All right. But so they didn't work until the week oh, after okay. that. Mm -hmm. So when's the next time I have to pay them? Friday the 28th, right? Yep, Friday the 28th. 28. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it's only... Sunday the 23rd, so I don't need to process payroll, yes. Mm -hmm. So we do it on Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So we have Irene submitting her timesheets so in this case, right? We don't see the timesheet because we're, we don't need to calculate it now. Okay. Right. And then, submit, go ahead. She submitted the, 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 um, the timesheet from the first two weeks, right? That you work. Yeah, but she started work on the 14th. The 14th. Yes, and she's Friday Friday through Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll talk about that on payroll. Mm -hmm. yes. 
All right, so then here it says here that、um, Albert submits his total sales、um, records. So let's take a look at Albert. Okay. So in this case, if he submitted his, ta- his, his commissions of his sales, right, how much do we owe him? 148. 148, right? Correct. 118, yeah. So I'm going to highlight that because that's what we owe him. So that means the next time when、um, Albert earns more money, we're going to start his amounts to count over again.、Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So here we owe 148. 18 to Albert. Okay. But we're, today we don't pay Albert because we pay Albert the same day as we pay Irene.、Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what next. So then what happened next? So you invite your friends and family to celebrate your grand opening of your store. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Does that mean something or no? <laughs> yes, it does. What does the next thing say? You buy 10 pizza with drink using the petty cash. Oh, so you're going to reduce from the petty cash、uh, I don't know the amount. Okay.、So、just put the receipt there, and then we're going to see later. Yes, <laughs> because we're just given that you went to go buy pizza and、yeah. use petty cash. Mm hmm. Where's the receipt? Inside the, put it inside the box. It's going to be inside the box. Good. When do we replenish the penny cash drawer? This,、uh, we can do at the end of the month. You can do when you see that you don't have a lot of money, no? Exactly. We're going to replenish it at the end of the month. So in this case, cool. We bought pizza, okay?、Uh-huh. What did Irene do? She b u y a cake to use in the petty cash. Okay. Petty cash and what did Albert do? He b u y a supply decoration too.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so do we, so in this case, right, you just said that we're going to replenish at the end of the month. So do we need to journalize anything here? No.、Nope. No. Good. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So now it is Monday, the 24th of June. And what happened here? Receive the check 420 from Kelly Coffee Corner for 99 and 54. The invoice 101 is the rest of the, the payment no? from the invoice number 101. How do we know that? Yeah, we're going to the, the subsidiary ledger. Subsidiary ledger. Okay, so let's go ahead and check that out. <laughs> Subsidiary ledger, Katie. Customer, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, how much does Katie owe me right now? Oh, $99.54. $99.54. How much was the check written out for? $99.54. $99.54. So, in this case, let's go ahead and journalize that. So, next page. It is June 24th. Uh huh. So I count.、Uh, is it the first?、Mm, is that first or is that last? Is it what? Are we going to journalize that first or are we going to journalize that last? Is she owing us more money or is she reducing what she owes? She's reducing. Okay. So are you going to credit or debit that account? Good question. <laughs> I'm blocked right now.、Uh, well, the account, the receivable, it is,、uh, oh, so it is,、uh, we're going to credit this account. We're going to credit the accounts, account s receivable account, correct? Mm hmm. I blocked for a few minutes. <laughs> no worries. 
and then uh, for some checking. Good. We received money, right? Mm -hmm. For how much? Ninety-nine dollars. Fifty-four cents. You need a calendar or no? You have it. Okay. Eleven thousand. Right, so we receive okay a kitty is kitty corner okay corner check number let's see 420 i am voice 101 Now we have to go to the lecture. That's checking my account. That's checking. So two, four, two, two. Okay, two, two. Point three minus ninety-nine or fifty-four. Two thousand one hundred and forty-one. One hundred and forty-one. Yep, and nineteen cents. Yes. Okay. Okay, we go. Mm -hmm. Now we use the credit apply or no? Hmm? We use the credit apply or no? Yeah, but you don't, we won't see that until the end of the month where they bill us. Oh, so because they, uh, if we use the credit apply, we have an interest, no? Or something like that. We Correct. Yeah. Correct. But in this case, right, you only get charged line of credit only once because you they forward $4,000 to... Um, uh, furniture store, but here I entered. Uh, I entered in my in-store sales. I received mm -hmm. check. I didn't write any other check out yet. Mm -hmm. I'm receiving money. So in this money. case, yep. this isn't money from line of credit. This is just. This is just. Yeah, yeah. this is just reducing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just reducing what you owe. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the line of credit is going to use the minus that you have in the account. Oh. Uh, or just uh, or if they if they pay for you the the you, if it's because you have, uh, have a minus on the account or what what does it mean? It, it, yes, in this case, okay. line of credit can be if you write a faulty check, they'll process it for you, right? Because you don't have enough money in your bank account, yeah. right? It can be possible that the check you even didn't get, uh, get inside the account yet because you give the check to the customer. And maybe maybe they process yet. That's true it's too. Inside. That's mm -hmm. true too. Okay, and that's why I uh, that's you know in this case we're not the bank. Mm -hmm. We can't see yeah. when that person transfers it. Well, they could do it instantly. They could do it tomorrow. They could do it the next day. We don't know because we're not the cut. We're not the vendor. We don't know. We would have to check our uh, bank statement to see if it cleared or not. It's still possible that we can cover the check that uh, they call the same day. It, still, uh, in this case, mm -hmm. in this case, right? It's we're still on day. We're still on the first day that we sent out the check, right? Because mm -hmm. we sent it out on the twenty third, right? The twenty third. Yeah. We're still negative, even still though negative. we entered in money. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this case, is it possible to cover that? That four thousand dollars, we don't know. We don't know. 
and I you know they're gonna charge you the interest for for to be a minus or, or even if you cover everything at the end of the. I don't know how they're going the interest that they they they, they charge on the credit it's, of line. It's going to be based on yeah. every single day, right? Because in this case, we're not the bank. We don't know. No. We don't know how are they going to charge us. We just know they will charge oh. us. Yes, that's what I say. I mean, what do, do you expect? Do you expect that they're going to charge you because you're one hundred percent, one hundred percent? Because right now, right, we're already on the second yeah. day and we're still below the money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. We don't know. What if Katie's check? Faults on us. What if Katie's check? Drops. Oh yeah, we don't know what's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if Katie's check bounces, right? That means we don't get that ninety nine dollars and fifty four cents. But for sure, they're gonna pay the six thousand six hundred. The amount that we have a uh, minus because yeah, they already paid. They already paid for it. They already paid for that. Okay. Yes, that was using the line of credit. Correct. Uh -huh. Okay. I was curious. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to the account receivable. Mm -hmm. Okay, account receivable. Invoice one hundred and one. Is one thousand one hundred and eight and seventy four cents. Yep, that one one zero eight. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to the subsidiary ledger. So therefore, Katie doesn't owe me anything. We already did. Mm. Well, in this case, we pay them when we pay him, not whenever the customer pays, he gets his money. That how how can Albert survive? Uh, no, I said, uh, uh, but we have to uh, update the. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna put the the money because half of the money they pay, and now she send the the rest of the money, so you don't pay him the rest of the commission. He is no. Remember, because he doesn't. He only earns ten percent. We already calculated for him for Katie one hundred one the whole entire total of two nineteen oh five. He only earned he only earned twenty one dollars. Oh, okay. Katie gave me ninety nine dollars. I have to give him twenty dollars. No, 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 no. I, it's 
I was thinking that we didn't calculate the net total of the commission. No, no, no. It's going to be the total sales. Total sales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so we're done with that? Yes, we are. Okay, so now we receive coffee mats from all things we make in invoice 162. But we, we, did, we did here, we coffee cups in which total 199 and every charge we buy coffee mats. Mm hmm. We purchase. Mm hmm. How do we know that we, re we purchase this? Mm. We receive them. Yeah, but how do we... Order? Oh, we go to the order or something? Yes, yes, because we sent out a request to buy them, right? Yes. So in this case, which, which one does it match to? This is the one, the 22. Okay, so this is invoice number 162. Okay, file save. Okay, so invoice number 162. 62. Okay. Yep. We have to record that or we record it. Yes, we had to record it because we received the inventory, right? Mm hmm Okay, so the bill charges. So that's uh, perpetual. That, that's that was perpetual. Or mm. that's that's uh, periodic. Periodic. Yeah, periodic. Sorry. Yes. So we have a purchase expense. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, See the delivery on the uh, uh, income delivery. No, income delivery is not how the um, how we call that. I don't remember. If there's a purchase expense, what usually comes after purchase expense? Freight. There you well, go. We call that uh, freight. Yeah, freight expense. expense. Uh huh. Oh, okay. No, because it's uh, COD, no? You have to pay on... Where does it say that it's COD? Oh, no, it's not COD. I assume that it's COD. Okay. <laughs> that was my... That was my... Okay, free and... Uh, um, account payable. Good, and accounts payable. Yeah. So it is one ninety forty. And we have one hundred dollar freight. It's two ninety eight forty. So uh, all ceramic, all things ceramic, no? Eighty coffee cups. What's my terms? One percent and like thirty. Okay. Ten minutes, thirty. All right. So, are we going to the ledger?
sé, de, de Nomad, era eh, Coffee Cups, ¿no? Para mí, bueno, sí, no sé. Uh, as long as you know the difference between the paper cups versus the ceramic mm -hmm. cups. Mm -hmm. 198.40 plus 392.40. 590 and 60 cents. Uh, it's 80, not... 392, 80. 392, 80. Ah, uh, not 20. Oh, 13, the page 13, no? Mm -hmm. 100, 300. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have the gum table. Oops. Accounts payable. Six. Yeah. Okay. So we have um, Forty four thousand five hundred and fourteen and twenty six cents. Good. Yep. <coughs> so without a yes, a, a subsidiary ledger, we have to write that. It's not customer, it's a vendor. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the same thing. No, no, no I, oh, I switched it over. Hmm. We have, it's the first one, right? No, it's not the first one. We don't have it, right? One ninety eight. Ah, two ninety six. The invoice one sixty two. We didn't write this one. No, we just got a new one. But we have the purchase order. How is gonna be a new one? We haven't been. We received inventory from All Things Ceramics multiple times. This isn't our first one. I don't know, I know. Uh, I tried to find here the invoice that uh, the order that we did it before. We not done, we didn't write anything on the subsidiary ledger? N no, we never write any purchase orders in there because it's a potential order, it's right? We can always cancel that order at any given time. In this case, right, our purchase order only serves us the one thing, mm -hmm. which is to ensure that whatever we ordered arrives. In this case, even if we had the ability to cancel it, we don't. We can cancel at any given time. So there is no need to have a purchase order in here. The only reason why we have a purchase order in here in the first place is because we made a 50% down payment or something like that, right? We had to use it, okay? Because we paid $100. So, we received 80 cups and mm -hmm. ceramic coffee cups. Mm -hmm. We received, okay, mm -hmm. invoice 
Genesis number 162. 162. January of June 13. Good. And. Good. Excellent. Okay, so how much money do I owe? Uh, two ninety eight and thirty seven. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. So now we have to update the inventory. Huh? Yes, we need to update our inventory. I don't know why I make a mistake with the ledger. It was substituted the ledger. Uh, I mean, it's okay. I mean, again, you're practicing and learning. So in this case, now you know subsidiary ledger, you don't have to necessarily put your purchase orders in there because at the end of the day, the purchase order is just, it's not a, it's a non-posting transaction, right? It doesn't affect your, uh, your accounts unless something happens, right? unless you pay for it, unless you receive the inventory, right? But in this case, the purchase order does nothing but tell you that you ordered something. Okay. So here we go, coffee mugs. It is the 24th. We received 80. Two one ninety eight point forty divided two forty eight two forty eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, hundred dollars of freight. Okay. Um, two ninety eight point forty. Three seventy-three. Okay. Good. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're gonna return fake broken ceramic coffee cups, all things ceramic for the full credit. Use invoice one sixty two. <coughs> so uh, account payable and uh, return a lot uh, uh, return my allowance. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Which is return We have to find the the account or no? Yes. Let's see. I think it's um sixty one. Oh, he, no, scripture discount. I can find it. 16, oh, here's 61,500. 61,500. 500, yes. And it's the price of the, of the caps is 248, right? 248? 248. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, how many? Okay, 198. Five times five. 12, 1240, yep. Okay. Purchase. Okay. Return if I broke the full uh, amount.
So we're going to the lecture 162. So we have one, four, five, fifteen, twenty six, almost twelve, thirty, four thousand three hundred and nineteen, twenty six cent. What did you say? I don't know. Oh, I know. Let me see. Four thousand five hundred and five and eighty six cent. Yep, that's right. Okay. And then we're going to the purchase return in. You know, oh, that's the purchase. That's the insurance expense, so. Here we go. Thirteen. It is twelve forty twenty two twenty four. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
sorry. It's to be 48. It's to be 70. To be 70. It's to be the last, the last one, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're done with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we deliver to Kerika Kati Coffee Corner. We deliver the coffee. So, okay, so we have a regular coffee, supreme coffee. And, uh, and come on, delivery, no? Yep. Yes. And uh, that's on the bottom on the credit. And we received that. Uh, well, we didn't receive anything yet, so I can't receive it, but no. I can't receive it, but and there's coffee on the uh, debit side. Need that account from delivery income? Um, is forty eight thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so we have um empty two hundred sixty five forty three, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sixty five forty three. And the regular coffee is sixty five eighty. The supreme is fifty nine eighty five. Uh, ceramic that is 109 and oh, oh okay no taxes uh, 198 and $30 delivery delivery um, tax that's all I need Two sixty five forty three. Two sixty five forty three. Good. We go to the ledger.
coffee regular coffee how many pounds did we sell How many pounds of Supreme did I sell? Fifteen. Fifteen, six, twenty-four. Fifty-nine eighty-five. Okay. And then how many cups did I sell? Twenty-two. Seven hundred and oh, um, one hundred and nine and seventy-eight cents. Uh, Seven hundred fifty seventy-two. Delivery invoice one sixty two invoice number one oh six one oh six sorry yeah one sixty two is a week before one oh six yeah and then thirty dollars and then one hundred and thirty and fifty okay Are we done with the journal? No, um, we are not. No, we didn't the journal, no? What we have more? The journal. We need to do the cost of goods sold, don't we? It, yes, but we have to finish it. We didn't... We have to write that... Um, we have 106. It was in the... It's an order from... How you call that from Albert, no? Yes, so that's so what we have to do. So we're going to the commission page. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oop, wrong person. Yep, this is the one. Mm -hmm. 106. 
And now we're going to the letter. Subsidiary letter. Okay. And of the order in subsidiary number six. Uh, one for seven fifteen net thirty. <coughs> All right. So the nine July nine. And uh, plus uh, holidays, plus anniversary, the, the 24. Okay. For how much? 265 and 43 cents. So now you, they, uh, Katie owes me. Two hundred sixty-five dollars and forty-three cents. Uh huh. Now we're done. Yeah. Now okay. we have to go to the cost of goods sold. Yes. Now we got to do the cost of goods Okay. <clears throat> For regular coffee. For supreme coffee. Coffee and super coffee. So we're going to the inventory. Oh. Okay. So in this case, we sold twenty pounds of regular and fifteen pounds of supreme. So oh, in supreme. Okay. Twenty pound time one point six one five three and thirty two and thirty one cent. Okay, good. Okay, so we have uh, seventy two pound. How many pound? So we have fifty two pound. Fifty two pound. Eighty four, eighty four, eighty. Let me see, something is wrong here. Eighty four point eighty divided by fifty two point five. One sixty six or one sixty one five two or three something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. <coughs> now we can do the supreme. Supreme. Fifteen pounds. Time one point eighty four. Uh, 
Play them in order to see cents, okay? Mm -hmm. We still have a 72 pound of coffee. Okay. Six, one thirty-two and forty-eight cents. Yeah. Okay, so let's plug in our number. So twenty-seven point six for supreme, thirty-two thirty-one for regular. For regular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Twenty-seven point six for regular. Mm -hmm. Everything okay? Yeah, what's that? On the side. On the side? Mm -hmm. We'll have the journal, then you have what else? On the, I have the ledger. Oh, oh, we're writing on the ledger. Oh, I forgot. Then you have it down. <laughs> so we're going to the ledger to, yeah, to write the cost of the salt and mm -hmm. the coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We sold twenty pounds. Mm -hmm. um, thirty two point thirty five. Sixty four watts. Yeah, it is thirty one thirty two. I think it's thirty two thirty one. Thirty two thirty one, yep. Okay. And it's 519.95. 519.95. Uh -huh. Okay, good. 95. Good. Yep. Next. Uh, the Supreme Coastal Good Soul. Six and we sold fifty pounds. Yep, it is twenty two five hundred fifty one and two cents. Good now we got to update our inventory. Eighty four eighty. Okay, which is what we solved in our inventory worksheet. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And then Supreme. Okay. Is that correct in the inventory worksheet? It's supposed to be. There's the 8480, and this one is 132.48. 132.48. 
Perfect. Okay. So good. Now, one more thing before we go on our break. Uh, since we received uh, a check, we're gonna we're gonna put it in our deposits, as we so we have received ninety nine dollars and fifty four cents, right from Katie, from the previous one. We didn't we didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay, there you go. No, we're not. We're gonna hold on to it until the very end. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's stop here. Okay. Um, and we'll uh, take a break, and then we'll continue on right here. Okay, so right now it's 3.06. Uh, so go ahead and take your 20-minute break and be, no, be back no later than um, 3, was that 3.26? 